always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, the last time we had a, a day with temperatures not making it, at least in the double digits, or at least remaining in the single digits, is way back in January 31st of 2019. This gives you an idea just how cold this air mass is. And Arctic air really does some funny things. You can see right now, of course, on this side of the lake, it produces lake effect snow and also clouds. Now, this is uh, Chicago. Of course, they're enjoying some sunshine with some high-level clouds out there. If you look really close, this is just fascinating. You can see the ice building right here. But if you look close enough, these are the lake effect clouds on the extreme western fringe developing over Lake Michigan. Let me show it to you with the visible satellite loop, and you can see just offshore Chicago right here. That, that's what you're looking at. That's the cold air, Arctic air coming across Lake Michigan, of course, uh, evaporating, and then uh, latches onto that moisture at the surface of the lake, which obviously is unfrozen with the very warm winter we've had. And then we get the clouds and also eventually the lake effect snow showers. Where are they the heaviest? Well, nothing particularly really heavy, but there's some pockets here and there. Moreland area, Sullivan right down to Fruitport, Nutica, Grand Haven, right up to the Norton Shores area where you see the deeper shades of blue. Uh, that's where we're noticing uh, some heavier amounts of some of that light snow. Pretty good band just south of uh, Lake Macatawa, Holland. Also another one right around the, the Zealand area up towards Port Shellen, Ganges area, and also just south of Fenville, just north of the Pullman location. And overall, I think for the rest of the day, a good solid one to three inches of snow possible. Right where I showed you, right along the lakeshore, that's the best chance of achieving that three inches as we continue with the advisory until four o'clock. Wind chill advisory continues, I-94 to the south. Wind chills around 10 to 25 below zero. And look at this. This gives you an idea just how cold it is across the United States. I counted eight states that are not included, at least in some type of cold advisory or winter weather advisory out there. So that means over 80% of the country has some type of advisory or 80% of the states in the country have some type of advisory for either cold, snow, or a combination thereof. Temperatures right now, we're at four above in Grand Rapids, four below in Chicago, 11 below in Bismarck, Midland, Texas at 16, and this cold air is making it all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Uh, in terms of closer in view for us, four above in Grand Rapids, two above in Kalamazoo, 17 in Muskegon. So you can see that wind coming off Lake Michigan really does make a difference. It is a little on the breezy side, not as strong as yesterday, so visibility a little bit better, at least especially away from the lakeshore. And you can see those current fuel lakes readings around 15. Uh, below in Kalamazoo 13 in Grand Rapids. So here's the latest in terms of uh, what we're thinking. It was lake effect snow showers with the west southwest will, wind will continue. A little short wave comes through and notice how that snow expands even away from the lakeshore for a little bit tonight and that moves out and then we'll just be left behind with the lake effect snow showers for tomorrow and it just looks like a one to four one to four scenario that one to four tonight an additional one to four for tomorrow and then another cold front coming through as if it couldn't get any colder. Eight day forecast features that uh, really extended stretch of Arctic air, something we really didn't see anything of, uh, didn't see that of last year. And finally, tail end of that eight-day forecast, there you go, temperature of 30 degrees. It's going to feel more like 50 degrees by the time we get there. Nonetheless, at the bottom hour, I'll talk more specifics about the snow and how impressive it was this uh, past weekend. Join me then.